Hello, so this is, um, today we're talking about factorising polynomials involving complex coefficients. And by the end of this presentation you should be able to use equating coefficients to factorise quadratics, use equating coefficients to factorise cubics, and use the conjugate root theorem to factorise polynomials. Okay, here's our first example. You'll notice that the coefficient of z is a complex number, 5 minus 2i. When we do this, if there is a non-real coefficient, then we use a technique we call equating coefficients. How does that work? What do we know? This is a quadratic, so it must have two linear factors. We're going to find the first factor um, using the factor theorem. Find first factor using factor theorem. So I'm looking at minus 10i, and I'm looking at factors of minus 10i. I think I'm going to uh, try, I'm going to try 5. And so when I put 5 in, that gives me 5 squared minus 5 minus 2i times 5 minus 10i. And what do you know? That gives me 25 minus 25 minus 10i minus 10i. That gives me 25 minus 25 plus 10i minus 10i, which is 0. So what's that telling me? So z minus 5 is a factor. Now, how do we use that? Well, I'm going to let z minus a be the other factor. And I'm going to say, well, z minus 5 times z minus a, they're my two factors. When I expand that out, they're going to be z squared minus 5 minus 2i times z minus 10i. Now the reality is I don't need to expand the whole thing out, because when I do expand this out, the last two, minus 5a, are going to give me the constant. All of the other terms are going to have something to do with z, but um, 5a is going to equal minus 10i. Divide both sides by 5, a is going to equal minus 2i. So what's that tell me? My factors are the first one we oh goodness. The first one we found z minus um, 5 and the second one is z minus minus 2i which becomes z plus 2i. And there are there are our factors. Let's have a look. Here's example two. We can do the same thing here using with a cubic. We need to find the problem this time. We need to find two factors. We know there's going to be three factors in total. Let's find two of them. So I'm looking at factors of 6i. 
I'm going to try minus 2. So minus 2 cubed plus 5 plus i times minus 2 squared plus 6 plus 5i times minus 2 plus 6i. And what does that all give me? Minus 8. Minus 2 squared is 4, so that's plus 4 outside of 5 plus i. Minus 2 outside of 6 plus 5i plus 6i. So minus 8 plus 20 plus 4i minus 12 minus 10i plus 6i. And what do you know? I reckon that's all going to equal 0. So if the polynomial of minus 2 equals 0, what does that tell me? That tells me z plus 2 is a factor. I'm going to try the same thing with another factor of 6i. I'm looking at 6i, I'm using factors of 6i as my guess and check. I might try, um, what about if I put minus i in there? I'm going to get minus i cubed plus minus i squared times 5 plus i minus i times 6 plus 5i plus 6i. So let's do this one. Minus i cubed is minus i times minus i times minus i. Minus times a minus makes a posit uh, positive. So that's minus 1 times minus i, which gives me i. And then i squared is minus 1, so that becomes minus 5 plus i. And minus i, so that's minus 6i. Minus 5i squared is minus, makes minus a minus makes plus. 5 plus 6i. Just have to be a little bit careful with our pluses and minuses when we're i squared and i cubing. So that becomes i minus 5 minus i minus 6i plus 5 plus 6i and that equals 0. So z minus minus 1, so z plus 1, is also a factor. Now we're ready to do our equating coefficients because we're saying when I multiply these together, z plus 2, the two factors that I've found, z plus 1, and then z minus a, I'm letting z minus a be the other factor, then that should equal all of this z cubed plus 5 i z squared plus um, 6 plus 5 i times z plus 6 i. I don't really might care about the whole thing. What I'm interested in is the last times the last times the last. 2 times 1 times minus a, which is going to give me minus 2a, is going to equal 6i. I'm just equating the constant, the constant term from that expansion. And what's that going to tell me? Well, a is going to equal 6 divided by 2, which is um, minus... That should be an i there, so that should be 2ai. So 6i divided by minus 2i, a should give me minus 3. So my factors are z plus 2, z plus
plus i z minus minus 3 is z plus 3 and there are my three factors okay now it's time to talk about the conjugate root, root theorem and the conjugate root theorem works like this it says if um, the polynomial has real coefficients so not like the last couple but real coefficients and we know what one solution is z equals a plus bi then another solution is a minus bi that is the solutions occur as conjugate pairs and we're going to use this property now to solve a problem so given that z equals 3 plus 5i is one root of z cubed minus 5z squared plus 28z plus 34 find the other two roots well the thing is because the coefficients are all real that's the most important thing the coefficients are all real then so I'm just going to write that down coefficients sorry are real spelling is not my strong point there coefficients are real um, then if z equals 3 plus 5i z also equals 3 minus 5i that's our conjugate root theorem it has to be one of the solutions and I'm going to let z equals a be the third solution be the other solution how's that work for me well let's multiply those out z minus 3 plus 5i there's one factor z minus 3 minus 5i there's another factor and z minus a is our third factor now you you notice I've been very careful with the brackets because I, I want to get this clear I'm going z minus 3 minus 5i z minus 3 plus 5i and z minus a now this one you might not see it straight away but I'm looking at these two and I'm seeing a difference of two squares I'm seeing z minus 3 all squared minus um, 5i and I'm seeing no I'm not it's not squared yet z minus 3 plus 5i the z minus a is not working for us yet so I'm seeing that as a a minus b a plus b so that becomes z minus 3 all squared minus 5i all squared so there's my first bracket and z minus a is my second bracket let's keep expanding so I'm going, going to expand that z squared minus 6z plus 9 that's my z minus 3 all squared then minus 5i squared well i squared is minus 1 5 squared is 25 so that becomes plus 25 z minus a clean that up a little bit z minus z squared minus 6 z plus 34 z minus a and again I'm going to do equate the coefficients this time I'm looking at the constant my constant is minus 34 a and that has to equal 34 from over here so what's that tell me a equals minus 1 so factorizing 
this becomes Z plus A. Uh, try again. So, so about that. This becomes Z minus minus one. So Z plus one. Z minus. Um, and we've got these three minus five i, and z minus three plus five i. And so you say, well, they're the factors. What are the roots? We make that equal to zero, and so z equals minus one, z equals minus three plus or minus five i, and there are our three solutions. So the success criteria, please check that you are able to use equating coefficients to factorize quadratics, use equating coefficients to factorize cubics, and use the conjugate root theorem to factorize.